In this example, we're going to work out the number of moles of an ester, ethyl thanoate, at equilibrium given the starting number of moles of the acid and the alcohol and the value for Kc. This, in, in reality, is a more realistic example. If I know my Kc value and I know how much reactants I've got, how much product will I form at equilibrium? Again, we'll look at a rice table. And I've been told that I've got one mole of ethanoic acid reacting with one mole of ethanol. Again, I'm going to assume that I've got no ester and water at the start. I've been asked to work out the number of moles of the ethyl thanoate at equilibrium. And we're going to call that value x. That x is the number of moles of ethyl thanoate at equilibrium, which is one I want to work out. Now I can see that the change in number of moles, that is increased by x, and the equation tells me for every mole of ethyl thanoate, which forms a mole of water also form. So this will also increase by x, giving me x moles of water at equilibrium. The equation tells me for every mole of ethyl thanoate, which forms a mole of ethanol must have reacted. So if this increases by x, then the moles of ethanol will decrease by x to give me 1 minus x moles at equilibrium. The equation tells me for every mole of ethanol which reacts, a mole of ethanoic acid reacts. So this will also go down by x to give me 1 minus x moles at equilibrium. So I've now got my moles at equilibrium. I'm going to write an expression for Kc. Which is the concentration of the products or the concentration of the reactants. And we can see again, my KC expression requires me to work out concentrations. And here we've got moles. But again, because we've got the same number of moles, two moles of reactant, two moles of product, the volume terms will cancel and I can use moles as well as concentration here. That's all equal to four. So, the number of moles of ester is x times the number of moles of water, which is also x. That gives me x squared. Divided by the number of moles of ethanoic acid times the number of moles of the ethanol. 1 minus x times 1 minus x. And that gives me 1 minus x squared that again is equal to 4. Now to solve this we need to solve this for x it would involve a quadratic equation but we can simplify this so that is not necessary. If I square root both sides then that simplifies to x over 1 minus x is equal to 2. And here it's just solving for x, which should be trivial, but we'll go through it very quickly. Um, multiplying both sides by 1 minus x, x then is equal to 2 times 1 minus x. Open the brackets out. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times minus x is minus 2. 2x, add 2x to both sides, that gives me 3x equals 2, and then divide both sides by 3, and that gives me x is equal to 2 over 3, which is 0 0.667, and that's the number of moles of the ester 
at equilibrium.